Welcome to Good Wii Training Series. Today we will take you through the Easy Logger 3000C Series Unboxing and Installation. Unboxing Here is the Easy Logger 3000C Series box. Here are all the components in the box. Take a look at the appearance of Easy Logger 3000C from different views. Length is 250 mm. Width is 47.5 mm and the height is 173 mm. There are many ports on the bottom of the EZ Logger 3000C. Now, we need to fasten the mounting plate to the wall. Attach the rail clips to the back of the unit. Hang on the device to the rail. Then attach the ground wire. Attach the RS-485 communication cable to the communication terminal, and tighten the screws. Connect the RS-485 communication cable to the logger's RS-485 communication port. Connect DI or AI cable if using the corresponding device. Insert the SD card for data memory. Install the logger antenna. Plug one end of the cable into the ETH1 communication port and the other end into the router. Plug one end of the other cable into the ETH2 communication port and connect the other end to the computer. Select Wi-Fi hotspot for wireless connection. Plug in the power supply and turn on the logger. Choose one of the above configuration methods. Configuration option 1. Wi-Fi hotspot connection. Choose Wi-Fi hotspot on the computer. Turn on the wireless signal on your computer. Find the appropriate hotspot to connect. Configuration option 2. Ethernet connection. First we search control panel and open it. Then we click network and internet. Choose network and sharing center. Click ethernet connections. Click on properties. Double click on internet protocol version 4. Enter the following IP address and leave the default subnet mask as it is. Open a web page and enter the IP address shown in the video. First enter your account password on the login page. After entering your password, you will be prompted to change it. Re-enter the new password and you can log in. It will display the start guide of necessary steps. Go to Internet Setting page. Check the parameter description for LAN configuration. After LAN configuration is complete, click Yes to save. Modify the default name and password of Wi-Fi hotspot if necessary. For G version needs to select APN address. Device access to add GUDWI inverter and meter automatically or manually. Click setting to save. Next, you will be redirected to the configuration effect page. After successful activation, it will jump to the login page. If connecting to the third-party device such as meter for load monitoring or power limitation. Step 1. Go to Internet Setting page. Query the above data on the third-party device and enter it. Step 2. Click Manually Add for the third-party device. 
Click IEC 104 or Modbus TCP if connecting the third-party monitoring system. Click Add Channel and set the channel parameters based on actual situation. Go to Parameter Setting to set Logger Parameter. Modify Grid or Protection Parameters in batches or individually if necessary. Set the above parameters if using GM330. Upgrade the firmware of Logger and Inverter on the Device Upgrade page. Customize time periods to view system operating stat use in the device log page. Set OVGR RPR in Japan. Set remote shutdown in Germany. Set AC power fault detection in Japan. Set power limit if this function is required. Set DRED in Australia. Set RCR in Germany. Set DER underscore AVM in Korea. Once enabled communication error handling. If the communication between inverter or meter and logger is abnormal, the system will operate according to the settings. Click device monitoring to check the current status. View historical data according to specified time periods. Click system maintenance. Reset and restore the factory settings of the logger if necessary. Import or export log file when replacing the new logger. Go to System Configuration and select System Time to synchronize the time. In the Safety Settings, you can change the username and login password. Check the current version information. Finally, remember to click on Take Effect. Also, we can select the language, Real-Time Alarm, Version, Start Guide here. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe training series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.